Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and we're playing, uh, what is this, teamwork, <laughs> not hard mode, this is teamwork, and I, I received five jewel ships that, that were supposedly at my tech level in the, the that I have currently, however, two of them, Francois' Jewel Challenge and Kyle's Side Jewel 1, uh, have parts in them that I can't fly with. So I've sent you guys emails um, already, and now that you're reading this, it's probably days later. But uh, I, if, if I can get ships from you guys fairly soon, uh, ideally I'll be able to fly them before the jewel window closes. Otherwise, no big deal. We've got three ships. I, I'm not hurting for ships, but I'll happily fly them if you send them to me, and I can afford them. But the first ship that we're gonna that we're gonna lift off here is Lyoin in his low tech to jewel ship, and I am going to load that up right now. Actually, it's already loaded, so well, let's go ahead and load it. And here it is. It looks pretty nice. It's got some big boosters. It's got stuff. Um, apparently, it can land somewhere. Uh, he didn't say it could land, but with 8,000 uh, meters per second, I am wondering where exactly this thing can land. Maybe Polar Bop. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I believe... Let me... Uh, let me... Hold on just one second. I'm going to check his email. Okay, yeah. He says he says it can make it to Jewel and back and maybe land on a moon. So th these must be just in case it can land. Um, and it also sa he also says to uh, leave it at 50% thrust on the launch pad. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to assume everything's set correctly. Uh, I am going to kick myself out of the seat. And let's see, Lyoin, there you are. You're getting in the seat. There is only one seat on this ship, and we are going to use it for him. And we're going to launch now. Okay, oh, what do we got? What can we take off the pad here? Surface sample, not going to do it. Mystery goo, not going to do it. Material study, not going to do it. EVA report, not going to do it, because he's never going to be able to get back up in his ship from, the, <laughs> from here. Um, also, uh... Yeah, we're going to leave the thrust at 50%, like he said. We're going to turn on the SAS. We are not playing with uh, Ferrum, so I am going to hit the space bar in 3, 2, 1, launch! And our thrust awaits a little low, so I'm actually going to speed it up a little bit. Because we do like to be at about 64, 65, somewhere around there. Might as well get the most efficient we can. We are definitely not going to use materials or mystery goo here. See, our atmospheric efficiency is 0.75. We could actually throttle up a little bit more, get it up to atmospheric efficiency as quickly as possible, and then throttle down. That's a better use of our fuel here. There we go, right at 99%. Um, looking like it's going to be a pretty simple launch here. I'm a little concerned about the reported Delta V. But we'll find out what it looks like when we get into space. And, I mean, Lyon's flying this thing anyway, so... If it can't make it to... <laughs> if it can't make it to space, or if it can't make it to Jewel, he's the one who's going to get stranded, right? <laughs> That's the way we play this game. Um, our boosters are going here. We're still a little over atmospheric efficiency, but we're doing pretty good. Rattle it back down. Once our apoapsis gets to about 12, I'm going to start my gravity turn here. Okay, let's start cranking this thing over. Atmospheric efficiency is right at 100, which is nice. Apoapsis is at 16. We're going to start cranking it down even more. I think I'm going to go up to full throttle now. Goodbye, you guys, because now, yeah, well, now we're never going to have to worry about atmospheric efficiency again, that's for sure. But we're cruising along. Our apoapsis isn't at 30 yet, so this is a pretty good place to aim it, I think. And yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll see you in orbit. And uh, I just hit this and it's not thrusting. Uh, yeah, you had this engine in the wrong stage and I'm terrified about this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I almost staged these things away. You, uh, you scared me. Um, 
Yeah, but they are the next thing to go, so I just gotta watch for them to go down. Okay, really quick, we got two new applicants, uh, Sizemore Kerman and Godzilla Kerman. Godzilla. Uh, he, Godzilla is gonna be flying a ship that he built. Sizemore will someday be in the rotation. <laughs> And actually, Godzilla's ship is the next one to launch with 233 parts. And it looks huge. That's because it is huge. And it's got a... Oh, wow. Look at all those batteries. All those solar panels. Lots of parachutes. Uh, the parachutes seem to be there to successfully land these things on the ground after coming back to Kerbin, I would assume. Um, they possibly also might land me on... Lathe or something should have enough Delta V to make it a jewel safely. Abort kicks the entire craft apart and launches shoot on the command capsule. No guarantee that it or any probe will make it back to Kerbin. Well, you're the one who's going to be flying it, so we don't care about guarantees there. Uh, let's go ahead and kick me out of the command pod. Put Godzilla in the command pod. And, yeah, this thing's nuts looking. Look at those struts holding the boosters up. Oh, this is going to be fun to launch. Okay, let's go ahead and send this guy out and see what he's got. <laughs> okay, as usual, we don't have anything to do with the launch pad, so I'm going to crank it all up here, and in three, two, one, launch! And these solids aren't going, I'm going to assume for the time being that that is by design. My thrust weight's a little low, but going up, not too bad. Crazy looking ship. What is the next thing to dump? What am I dumping here? I cannot see what these are. Oh, they're these guys. And they're already gone. Okay. And the next thing is going to be these guys and these boosters. Okay. And I'm assuming the next thing is these guys. Oh, I did badly. I just wasted some Delta V. Well, your staging wasted some Delta V. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? <laughs> um, our thruster weight's still fine. We'll we'll see how we look in orbit. Um, yeah, you should have you should have put those things on their own stage there and stuff. Oh well, no big deal. Who am I to complain? We're at atmospheric efficiency anyway. Okay, goodbye. Uh, I should probably have my computer on. What do you think about that? We should also be turning the correct way. Uh, probably not quite yet, though. Yeah, we're fine now. Okay. Everything's fine. Nothing was wasted except for all the fuel in those solid rocket boosters. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't fly a ship you built. I'm sure... Oh, wow, look at those things. They're crazy looking. Actually... <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna assume that that's bad. We might not be going to Jewel today. I, I, I don't know if something broke or what, but uh, yeah, that was that was pretty freaky there. Let's see, we're at 40, so I'm going to bring this thing down here. Staging mishaps happen. That's just part part and parcel to the whole thing. I've, like I said before, I've got plenty of money. Um, Fifty. Oh yeah, I should be definitely be over now. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this lift off very well. But I don't think any of those things were my fault. There's no way I could have known that those solids were going to lit off so soon, and there's definitely no way I could have I could have prevented those orange tanks from blowing up the other ones. So that's on you, Godzilla. However, we still got a lot of meters per second. I think we can at least get to Jewel with this thing, if not uh, land on Polar Bot, maybe. We'll see what happens when we get there. I've been wanting to practice my, okay, let's go up to 88, I guess, for him. I've been wanting to practice my ability to, let's see if, yeah, these this guy's full. These guys have only got 45 meters per second left in them. Let's see how many meters per second it's going to take to circularize this orbit out here. I might want to just get his orbit up. 
Uh, it's gonna be more than forty-five, so we'll we'll lose these tanks and they'll they'll crash back down in the in the atmosphere just fine, no problems. Uh, let's go ahead and get you aimed roughly at that. You apparently have no control authority <laughs> as far as rotating the craft, but that's okay. Once we lose these once we lose these big things, I'm sure you'll rotate just fine. That's sort of just what happens with these ships. Um. But yeah, I mean we've got eight thousand meters per second. That's what that's what Lyons had, so I, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, yeah, you know, I got my maneuver node coming up. I'm actually not even gonna use that maneuver node. I'm just gonna use the fact that it's six seconds before. And I'm just gonna use time warp to slow that down. What we're gonna do is when we get about let's say 15 seconds or so from apoapsis. There we go. Let's get ourselves aimed at our thing here. Not sure what I just kicked off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're getting really close to our 88 by... Se okay, 92 by 79. That's going to have to be good enough for this guy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that what that last stage was. I wasn't really paying attention, but no big deal. Um, and I have a feeling that this is possibly wrong as well. I don't think we want to run these engines while we're running this one. So I'm going to make an executive decision and put this here. And then not until we dump this guy and turn this engine on are we going to even think about these engines. So I'm going to put these guys up here and then we'll worry about that later. Okay, I think that's a good way to go. You might want to check your staging in the future. Um, like I said, I'm willing to fly anything and I don't care about the money, but it might affect how well I do your mission <laughs> if we uh, if we run out of, of fuel here. But this will get us to Jewel and we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be good. The third ship here is Marindel's Jewel Anywhere. Uh, he, Marindel is obviously on his way to Moho right now, so Fonvagen and Marul are up. They are the ones who get to fly this crazy beast all the way to Jewel. And much like the Moho ship, this thing's got some craziness to it. It's got um, the science bay up at the top here It that's got a parachute on it. Who knows why? I don't care. Um, I think the plan is to at some point get this guy attached to here. That's the only thing I can imagine. Um, I have no idea what this thing is for, but I think it's going to be the orbiter. And then stuff. I don't know. Oh, good. He has he has description. Let me let me read this and I'll be back in a second. Can land on Tylo or Lathe. Uh, for Tylo, you should touch down with a bit left in the external engines. For Lathe, make sure you hit land. Okay, this guy, I'm probably going to send him to Tylo. I think I'm going to leave the throttle at 50%. And we're going to look at our thrust to weight here as we go. So turn the computer on like we didn't do before. And in three, two, one, launch. Thrust to weight is perfect with what we've got. Um, I assume, yeah, these boosters are for after these things are done. It was very nice to kind of give us a little bit of a shove to the right here. So I'm not going to complain about that. Marindel, I like your ships. Your ships are pretty. I'm just going to assume when these things run out, I can hit the space bar. Thrust weight's going up. Atmospheric efficiency is basically at 100%. So I think I'm going to throttle down just a little bit. Or a lot. Or all the way to zero. We'll just ride the solids up. Uh, we'll hit the, we'll, we'll, we'll bring up the throttle once the solids are almost out. Should probably have this going. Actually, this going. When they get down to, say, a thousand, it looks like is a good time to crank this thing up. Just kind of letting it do what it wants. And now we have control over the ship, which is nice. I think I'm just going to leave it like this, though, because we're... We're doing pretty good here. These drop tanks are quickly emptying out. It's these ones are the ones that we care about. So we'll just watch these. Yeah, and these are the next thing to go in the staging sequence. We are at 15,000 at our apoapsis. So let's start bringing this guy down. Very easy to control now that the solids are gone. 
just watching this fuel tank here. I guess I could probably watch this as well. Uh, we're at 18. That's pretty good. When we get to 20, I'm going to go down to 40 here. There we go. Our apoapsis is at 20. We're at 40. I'm very happy. These drop tanks are almost gone. And... Goodbye. Very nice. Okay. Now it's basically just uh, cruise this thing up. I kind of went a little bit farther over to the right than I wanted to, but I think I'm just going to keep it here. I might keep it here until we're getting closer to 40 because our uh, our angle is, is not as good as I want it to be, which is odd considering how well everything went. I'm surprised that we're, we're, we're a bit too far over. It's probably my fault. Our apoapsis is now at 40, so I'm going to bring it down here. Everything's looking fine now. We've still got uh, about 300 meters per second left in these things. And... Goodbye. Okay, we, uh, we should definitely be sideways by now. And... See, I would think that this is the transfer stage, but I might be wrong about that. I'm using a lot more of it than I was expecting to. <laughs> but we still got plenty of Delta V in this guy. 64. Just watching my apoapsis here. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Tell you what, I'm going to meet you back in orbit with this guy, and then uh, when, we're, when we're actually, when I've got my, my thing set up, and then I'll figure out what we're going to do with these guys. Okay, we are in orbit. I have my jewel encounter. I actually have it. I have the burns for all three of these ships for their jewel encounters. Um, really quick, I'm only going to show you this one, but they're all about the save. It's that they're all a burn uh, at the right time to get to get us out, so that we're we're approaching jewel from below, so that when we get to our ascending node, we can do or our descending node, we can do a burn to make that get really close to jewel. That's the, that's the goal. And in all cases, they're a little bit less than, than two grand Delta V. This ship, though, I decided to keep this. It's got so much fuel in it that it would be a big waste to, um, to, to drop it now when it's got a good 500 or so meters per second left in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it, and I've activated these two engines. So I'm going to use it and these guys to burn myself, and as soon as he gets either a... Actually, let's go into map mode again. I was trying to zoom out in map mode, but obviously that's not going to work here. When he either gets a uh, out to, to at least moon's orbit, or uh, if I so choose, when he gets a curve and escape um, trajectory, then I can kick that, that engine off on the back, and I think it'll save me more Delta V doing that, dragging it a little bit, rather than anything else. And it's got these Separatrons on it, which I think I'm actually going to disable. Uh, because they'll shove it backwards, and they might send it back into a Kerbin trajectory. So I think I'm just going to leave those those things off, and we're not going to worry about them right now. So that's it. That's that's what we're going to do, and that's going to be probably next episode. Um, and that's going to be 86 days from now. Uh, Marindel's going to be a little bit after that, so that's going to be fun. So we're going to probably next episode, we're going to actually get all these guys sent out to Kerbin, or sent out on their way to Jewel. And just for the fun of it here, let's turn this off. And yeah, we, we only used up about, I don't know, what about 60% of our funds on that. So uh, hopefully, maybe the one of the two people who uh, who submitted ships that just had too much tech in them, maybe they'll, they'll resubmit and we'll launch a fourth ship. But really, I mean, three ships is awesome to send to Jewel. So I think we're, I think we're looking pretty good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, these three launches. I definitely enjoyed doing all these three launches. I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.